Good morning, gang. I already checked all my fluids. I think I'm doing this, checking my lights. Full day. Life of a flatbed driver. Special request. You asked for it, I'm going to give it to you. Let's get it. Turn right on, Cook Park Road, and then take the entrance to the left at 200 feet. About to get on I-95 right now. Just left from the little truck stop that I parked my truck at on weekends. I-95 South, North Carolina. This right here is exit 72. Straight shot. Right down 95. We only got about, about this is exit 72, so we got 72 miles before we hit the border. North Carolina, South Carolina. We got a weight station on this road, probably in about uh about 50 miles. We got a weight station, North Carolina weight station. That weight station it hardly ever closes. Most of the time, you always got to pull in. If so you ever come through North Carolina, better make sure you're straight. Pre pass don't work on these. I think the only one in North Carolina that you might get a pass, maybe it's the one on 85 in Greensboro. Take the entrance to the left. Continue on this road for 98 miles. You heard, you heard the GPS telling me to take the entrance to the left? I've been on 95 probably about a, about, what, about a mile and a half already. So all I'm going to do now is set my cruise control, and we're just going to ride. I got 98 miles till I get off on my next exit. So that's going to be exit 170 in Florence, South Carolina State Route 327. 98 miles when we get to there. Once we get off, we only got 8 miles to the destination. So pretty much this is going to coast on down the highway. Just made it to Florence. There's my exit right here. Exit 170. South Carolina 327. We said we got a pilot up here. I've been to that pilot before. Go to Darlington. I've been out there. I've been in that area before too. Darlington. You'll see the, uh, the raceway out there.
Alright, we made it, gang. We're still fab. Receiving entrance. Look like we're in the right place. Receiving entrance. In 800 feet, turn left on Steel Road. We're definitely at the right place because I just saw another PNS truck right up there in front of me. So let's find the office. Oh, it says office right there. Pull up to the side and we'll go check in. I just went and checked in. The lady told me to keep pulling down and they'll come out and get me. Not sure where this guy's going. I think he's trying to. Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead and pull down here. Let's see where it is that they want to come get me at. Just sit right here. In the meantime, I go ahead and uh, guess I start taking some of my bungees off. Y'all ever watch the um, one of those unboxing videos on YouTube where the people buy those Amazon boxes and then they 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 buy them then they do a video on unboxing. That's how I feel about this damn load right here. I don't know what the hell. I know it's some metal, but man, them damn straps were so tight I had to fight just to break the winch on them. So now we're about to unbox this thing, see what we're working with. I'm about to do something I haven't done in a while. Last time I did it with a black tarp. I'm gonna fold this tarp up while it's on top of the load.
Just not a master tarper. I'm a master roller as well. I got it. I got the tarp off. I got the tarps off. All the straps, except for two. I left two up there. So you can't be riding around the yard without a little bit of securement. I'm waiting on these guys now. I first got here, checked in. The lady was like, pull up. They'll come out and get you. So I pulled up. I talked to another guy that was sitting out here. I guess they was on break when I first got here. Cause everybody was sitting outside smoking cigarettes and all that. So the guy told me, he was like, go ahead and take the tarps off and unstrap it. And somebody would come out and get you. So, as y'all may know, that, that takes a... Of good. I just looked at my off duty time. I've been off duty for 34 minutes. Hey, you know, we got to show load time while we're getting unloaded and loaded. So when I pull up, you know, I show the unloading time on the Qualcomm, of course. Uh, yeah, I already got my next load. Hey, shout, hey, shout out my homie, uh, DeMonte the Trucker, man. Shout him out. I, I ran across one of his videos yesterday. He was talking about his uh, wardrobe and all that. And he told me to stop stealing them folks' tiles. Hey, let me tell y'all something. This gray tile right here. Hey, they sell these at Walmart, man. They sell them at Walmart. Hey, you never know where I got it from. Might have got it from Walmart. I might have got it from Dollar General. Hey, you never know where it came from. If y'all wondering what the hell I'm doing right now. I'm writing down some information. I already got my next load. Yeah, I, it, uh, it popped up on the Qualcomm while I was driving, but I didn't see what it was till I just stopped. So guess guess where y'all think this load is going? Just take a guess. It's going to one of my favorite places. Because it pays the most. But I never, I never got to enjoy all the benefits of the money because I was a company driver. That three hundred fifty dollar extra for uh, New York pay, I never, I never got to enjoy all that as a company driver. But yeah, it's here, the Bronx, seven hundred six loaded miles. This load is paying. Uh, where to say? Let me go back to it because I clicked off of it. I can tell you what it's paying. I'm going to get exact. It's paying $24.87. $24.87. Fuel surcharge, $324. New York City charge, $350. So let's do some math real quick. Let me break out my trusty calculator. Let's do, some, let's do a little bit of math. Hey, because hey, this is one guy commented on my Snapchat the other day. And he said he got a buddy. And you probably gonna see this video, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. Cause the comment rubbed me the wrong way when you said it. When you said I got a buddy that's going that's about to get his CDL, and he's gonna tell me what it's all about. Okay, so 2487, my percentage 1740. Let's see, 1740 plus 350 for New York. Let me get my fuel surcharge plus 324. Plus 324. Okay, so I'm going to make 
$2,414 off this one load. Let's divide that by 700. That equals 3.44. So that's $3.44 a mile for this one load. Yeah, so that definitely is going to pay off with me being a lease driver. But back to what I was saying about the guy that made that comment on Snapchat. I can't remember your name. It was you, you, I can't remember who it was, man. There's so many people I talked to. But yo, you said your buddy. Your buddy was going to get his CDLs. So he was going to tell you, was the truck driving worth the hype? So let me say this. First off, you never you, you never want to go off somebody else's opinion. What 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 somebody else tells you. Like like me. Y'all can y'all can watch my videos and y'all can say, well, he he seems like he's pretty he's he's having fun doing it or he seems successful. But you know, you can't take my word for it. You, you can't take my word for it. That's the classic question. If I jump off the bridge, are you gonna jump off the bridge behind me? Sometimes you gotta find out for yourself. So when I make my videos or my vlogs, that's what they call them. You know, I don't I don't make these videos to uh, persuade anyone in a in a certain direction. Like like yo, do what I did. Go to Melton. Uh, go to Hornady. Go to PNS. I don't I don't do it to persuade you to do it because at the end of the day, you got to make your own decisions. Like no no one influenced me on the decisions I make. I mean, people people can make recommendations. They can, they can make recommendations, but no one really influenced me. You know, I, I, I look at different, you got you got to look at different avenues of, you, you look at all these different avenues and you figure out which way you want to go. You want to go to Walmart. You want to go to Walmart. You sit at your house, you want to go to Walmart. You say, hey, am I going to take the back road or I'm going to take the freeway? But hell, it might be an accident on the freeway. Back road might have too many police out there. You might not want to drive on the back road this time of the night. Hey, it's different avenues. It's all different roads to get you where you're going. But I, but I'm not gonna send my buddy. I'm gonna say, hey buddy, ride down that back road, see if they got a roadblock. Call back, let me know if they got one. Your buddy might ride down that road. Guess what? They ain't got a roadblock. So he call you. Hey man, they ain't got no roadblock. One second. Got a forklift driver right here. Right. What's up, man? Thank you, yeah, Monday. Uh, All right. Yeah, this is trash. Oh man. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, your buddy, your buddy might go down that road. They might not have a roadblock. He might be alright. But 10 minutes later, you take your ass down the road, they got a damn roadblock. Hey, I don't know what I don't know what kind of activity you could be doing to want to dodge roadblocks, but I'm just saying it's different roadblocks in life. Your buddy, your buddy might go to a truck driver company. He might be at a fucked up company. They might not pay him worth a damn. Destination on the right side. He might be in a bad region. He can't get good loads. But you go to that same company, you might be all right. So. Hey man, you gotta find out stuff for yourself, man. Don't always take somebody's word for it. Don't even take my word for it. I had I had a buddy that told me about PNS before I came over here. He, he said, hey man, I'm over here at PNS. He said, man, try it out. Think you might like it. Flex dispatch home every weekend. At first I was kind of hesitant. I said, nah, man, I'm gonna ride it out over here at Hornady. You know, and I'm gonna be alright. But yeah, a couple days later. After I realized the type of loads that I was getting at Hornady, like a fucking 400 mile load on a Friday to deliver Monday, I'm like, I'm like, nah, man, nah, 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 I can't do this. I'm like, nah, I can't do this right here. And I, and I ain't, I ain't even give Hornady a chance. I, I think I stayed at Hornady two weeks, maybe three weeks. 
hey, it didn't work out for me. Pretty much what it came down to. It didn't work out for me. But hey, if somebody else go to Hornady, they might like it. But for me, it didn't work. I know y'all tired of this damn camera jumping like hell, so. I'm just following this forklift guy. Yeah, we got all kind of shit out here. Oh man. He got all kind of stuff right here in the way in this place. Oh, gotta be careful out here. They got so much metal. So much metal out here. Watch my trailer tire. Boy, it hit something. Stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty. So as soon as this guy unloads me, I'm headed to Columbia. That's where I picked the New York load up. I'm probably only about, no, no more than 100 miles away. Do what's best for you. Y'all tired of me fucking winking? Do what's best for you. Almost finished, man. Almost finished. As soon as we get done with this, we're gonna head to Columbia. I guess we'll be there probably about an hour and a half at the, at the tops. Hour and a half, pick this load up. Hopefully we, hopefully we don't gotta stay too long. We go ahead and get it, and we're gonna hit the road and head to New York City. Y'all feel it? We got any deja vu? About two weeks ago, when I was here, 2061 American Italian Way, Columbia, South Carolina. American Spiral Well Pipe. Y'all remember this? It was just here a couple weeks ago. That's a Shelton truck right there in front of me. All trucks, please stop at window. The gate's already open. But I'll wait. I'm gonna go check in first. Yeah, it's been two hours. I've been waiting that long, two hours. Y'all remember the last time I was here? A couple weeks ago, it kept where I uh, heard a damn, damn beeping noise. I didn't know the damn, I didn't know the golf cart had a damn beeper on it. I thought it was just a forklift. It's a damn 
golf cart too. Got the back of the beef on that motherfucker. Y'all heard it again, it ain't just sport, the damn golf cart got it. And it's loud. My truck don't even got a backup beat. They got them on the damn golf cart. Fuck. Trailer I'm picking up. Trailer that I'm about to pick up, it already got done it, Jonah. So all I need is my damn strap. Remember what I told y'all, this is a this is a special strap just for dunnage. This is all me. Got two pieces up here right now. They gotta put another piece up here. So I'ma go ahead and throw my throw me a couple, throw three on this bottom layer. Three on this bottom layer should do it. I see, I see them lifting it up. So they're probably about finished. Whoever had this trailer before I did. They must have took some of the straps off because they don't have that many. Top. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
see how we're gonna do this. Just be one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. bottom there so it's gonna be three on the bottom it's gonna be three on the bottom five on the top we're gonna do it like that three on the bottom five on the top In there. Three on the bottom, five on the top. Get you right here, baby. Now, wait, no, some guy to come back. They said the quality assurance guy to come back with the damn paperwork. Look, looks like it's him over there right now. I gotta move this strap over a couple couple spots. Yeah, I think they're about to move me now. I see him. I see him making some moves over there on that piece of pipe. Gotta move this over. Right there should be good. So by the time I tighten this up. They should be coming to get me. There's the third piece. All right, gang. Doesn't look like I'm in a truck anymore, does it? So check this out. After they put the third layer up there, I, I had I had it recorded on my GoPro. I had it up there. When I finished it up, when they put the third layer, I threw five more straps. I actually ended up putting I ended up putting four. I put one more on the bottom, so I put four four on the bottom, four on the top. But somehow, I don't know how, and and. Somehow, the GoPro didn't save the footage. And I had it up there. I know I had it up there. So this is the end of the video. The subscriber that asked me to do a day in the flatbed life. <sighs> I, I just looked at it. His name was Pierre Hall. So Mr. Pierre Hall. Mr. Pierre Hall, brother. You asked me for a full day. I gave you a full day. I dropped a drop off and a pickup. I gave you a full day. I'm out here in the damn hell. Haven't even took a shower yet. I just came in here. So I made this video. So while it's uploading, I'm about to get in the shower. But that's it. That is it, gang. A full day in the flatbed game and it ended with me being home it doesn't always end like this but just today it ended like this I'm at the house chillaxing I will get up in the morning and leave out by 7 a.m. and drive all the way to the Bronx in New York City I think it's about 500 550 miles something like that but uh, yeah, I can do it in a full day. I can do it in a whole day. Still have like an hour and a half left on my clock of drive time. Hey, I do it almost every week. So hey man, flatbed gang, I love y'all. Hope y'all love me too. Leave me a hundred down in the comments. Share this video. Be safe. Keep on trucking. Flatbed gang. <laughs>